Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie. Today I have my monthly unboxing roundup. I'm going to be unboxing four boxes in today's video and reviewing them. I have Gifts from Mickey, BoxyCharm, Lily Post, and Grove.co. I feel like this is going to be a lengthier video, so I'm going to cut this intro short. The last thing I will say, if you're here for a specific box over another, I will put a timestamp in the description below for when each box starts. If you guys have any other question concerns after watching this video, make sure to ask them in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get reviewing. Look at the size of this box. It is massive. I'm going to start this review off with my gifts from Mickey box. This is my Disney sub box for this video. This is not a sponsored video. None of these links are affiliate links, but I do have some coupon codes that I can put in the description for any of these boxes that I have. So if you guys are interested in trying out any of these for yourself, I will put some coupon codes in the description. This specific box is sent to me for reviewing purposes, but I make zero money off of reviewing this box. It is just completely sent for promotional purposes. It is not sponsored. The BoxyCharm box, I do have a referral code. It's not affiliate. If you guys join BoxyCharm, you can get that code as well and use it. Same thing for Lily Post and same thing for Grove.co. So first thing I want to show you, this is jam-packed, like literally jam-packed. A lot of you guys ask me what my top Disney subscription box would be and Gifts from Mickey is definitely on the top of my list. I feel like you get such a bang for your buck and is always jam-packed with such nice souvenirs and merchandise and goodies from the park. So here we go. The first thing that I am getting looks like a little coaster. I'm not 100% sure where this is from. But this looks like a little added on extra. Typically on the top of all the boxes are like your added extras. They are just put in the box for like some extra flair. We're also getting the Festival of the Arts brochure. I love looking at these afterwards. And she always tends to put in some of the park maps, which I really appreciate because I can't be in the parks all the time. And this is a great way to kind of look through the little maps and see what is changing. We're also getting a postcard on the top as well. And it has Figment on it. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that Figment is my homeboy. I love Figment. So we're getting a little Figment. And again, this is before I even take off the actual tissue paper. This is all just on top. And the last thing that I have are two pictures of Rapunzel signing something. So you can add something extra into your box when you subscribe to them. If you want one of the items to be signed by one of the characters, you can put that in and then she'll take a picture of the character actually signing whatever that piece of merchandise is and put it inside your box. So I think I'm getting something that is signed by Rapunzel and it is purple and it is really cute. So that was everything on top of the tissue paper. Well, let's take the tissue paper off now and dig on into this box. Literally, <laughs> so jam-packed. There is so much stuff in here. Okay, let's go to the first one, which is Vera Bradley. The first thing is from Vera Bradley. There's no price tag on it, but it is a little wallet holder. So it's kind of like a little wallet holder slash coin purse. And look at how beautiful, look at how beautiful that print is. If you look really closely, there's a bunch of hidden Mickeys right inside the flowers. And I am living for this. Oh, there's a bunch of like little hidden castles too. The blue is hidden castles. <gasps> Well, already we're getting a shirt. Okay, so she did mention that she was going to send something for Landon. So you can also mention that you have kids from whatever age to whatever age that they may be. And she sent a little shirt. <laughs> said, you must be this tall to ride this ride. Walt Disney World. He's not going to fit in this yet, but he will definitely grow into this. It has the little aliens and Zerg on it. Oh my God. This is $17.99 in the parks. And she sent me a 2T. Oh my god, living right now, absolutely living. It took all of my willpower not to open up this box when I first received it because I really wanted this to be like a true unboxing and true first impression and so far the first impression is real strong. So you also mentioned what you do like and what you don't like with this subscription service and I mentioned that I like Haunted Mansion as I'm sure most of you guys already know and I'm getting, I've never seen this before, come out and socialize haunted mansion diorama attic 
shut the front door do they have all different at like dioramas for the different rooms in haunted mansion because your girl is going to buy every single one of them and make a little haunted mansion stage this is 24 dollars 99 cents in the park look at this what even you have the bride oh my god it includes three walls floors five frames strings two string clips assemble diorama and then all of the pieces this might be the coolest thing I've ever received inside of any Disney subscription box before. Never seen these before, but now that I'm introduced to these, I have a problem because I'm literally going to go out and buy every single one of them. Next, and I'm trying to declutter all the Disney stuff in my house. That's not one of the things that I'm going to declutter. Next up, it looks like we're getting something from Alex and Ani. I'm telling you guys, this box packs a punch. And I do just want to share while I'm opening this up. A lot of people have messaged me and said, oh, well, I subscribed to Gifts from Mickey and my box looked almost identical to yours this month. So it makes me really happy because I know a lot of people think like, oh, she's an influencer and she gets these boxes that are crazy. And then the actual people, the consumers who are buying them don't get this much stuff. I've received so 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 many messages from all of you guys who have used my code before or just have subscribed to them on your own and told me that your boxes are just as good so it makes me really happy because this is a brand that i truly stand for and this is a brand that i truly promote because they are genuine and they are authentic let's talk about this next item this is a disney park collection alex and Ani. it has cinderella's castle on it I really hope that my camera is focusing on everything. I'll try to go a little closer for this one. <sighs> Living. Last time I got a signature Mickey ice cream bar and now I have the castle. And I do have to say, Alex and Ani products have gotten so, so much better. I used to get Alex and Ani all the time. They are actually a brand that started in Rhode Island, which is really cool where I am from. And the quality from when I first started buying them in college to now has gone up like tenfold. Next up, we are getting a little, it looks like a little French Minnie Mouse. It looks like she has a beret on her. This is $12.99 in the parks and this Alex and Ani is $44.99 in the parks. This is so cute. So you're getting a little stuffed animal. She kind of matches me right now with the red, black, and white, but that is just her everyday aesthetic. So cute. All right, next up, we're getting another thing all bubble wrapped up. Something also to mention about this company, they always bubble wrap everything and they make sure that it gets to your house in one piece. And if it doesn't, the customer service is incredible. You just email them and they do their best to work it out for you. So it looks like great. We are getting a white soap fresh from Basin, and this is $6.29 at the park. And it's just a slab of soap that they cut at Basin. It has little Mickeys on it. Let me see if I can, I don't really wanna open it up. When I open it up, I'll take a picture on Instagram because I don't wanna like ruin it right now. I'm not gonna use it yet, and I don't want it to dry out. Does soap dry out? I don't know. But anyways, we're getting some of that. I'm saving this for last because, yo. <laughs> Yes, girl. Next up, I am getting this is literally the best box I've ever opened up from Gifts from Mickey. This is one size. It doesn't have a price, but I did hear that the airs at Disney World just went up from like $25.99 to like $30. I could be wrong about that, but this is the pair of ears that I am getting. I hope it's focusing. I don't even know what I would call this. It reminds me of, it kind of reminds me of the beach, like a seashell or a conch shell. It's so pretty. There's, there's too much stuff in here and that's not a bad thing, but I just don't even know like where to go. Next up. Okay, if you guys then, if you guys have been to Disney recently, you would know that they have the mini vans, M-I-N-N-I-E van. So instead of taking like a bus to the parks, so you can take like a Disney Uber, which is the mini vans, and they have merchandise for the Disney mini vans now. This is a nine ninety nine at the parks, and it is a cute little mini van. Look at that! This looks identical to the little mini vans that you can ride in the parks. So cute. I think my son just woke up. 
trying so hard to like film when he naps and it's just not always working. All right, it looks like there's still like five or six more items in here. <gasps> so cool. Oh my God, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are getting eight frozen pressed pennies from Norway in Epcot. Look at that. We are getting Hans, Anna, Elsa, Anna and Elsa, Kristoff, Anna, Olaf, and Sven. I actually collect these and I have a whole bunch of them in my house somewhere and I don't remember where that somewhere is, but I need to find them because I have like a whole slew of them somewhere and I want to display them eventually. Next up, I am getting this box. Let's open it up. Oh It's a mug, I just don't know what kind of a mug it is. Oh my god. Look at fancy Mickey and Minnie on this mug. This is from the new Disney's Riviera Resort. Oh my gosh, look at this. How cute. And then look at the title. So if you look over here, it's kind of like etched in. So it's not actually just like printed on there, it's actually textured which is really nice. The quality looks really, really nice. Oh my God, it's a heat sensitive color decal. So before it looks like this and when you pour something hot in there, it turns into a light sky. That's cool. Okay, I have three things left, I believe. The next thing that I have is a popcorn bucket. So cool, it's a popcorn bucket that looks like the Skyliner. And I have the scene with Chip and Dale. Mickey and Minnie, and then also Pluto and a little bird. So we're getting a little popcorn bucket. Mickey and Minnie. And then we are getting Chip and Dale. Oh, cute. Love this. I've noticed a lot of people on Instagram using this not only as a popcorn bucket, but they use it as like a little pocketbook as well. And I think that's like such a cute idea. So you can hold like a lot of popcorn in there. This is the cutest flipping thing. All right, next up, two more things. I'm saving the best for last, which I'm pretty sure if you watch my Disney unboxings, you already know what that is. So I'm gonna save that one for last, which means I'm moving on into this bad boy right here. I think that this is the item that was signed. This stuff is going to break on its way from point A to point Z. Struggle City over here right now. Okay, live your dream, Disney princesses, and I'm pretty sure that this is the one that was signed, or maybe it was. Oh yeah, it is signed. It has Rapunzel right on top. So it has all the princesses in there, like literally so many of the princesses and it's a little snow globe and it's very like Valentine's Day-esque. Considering Valentine's Day was just about a week ago, this is absolutely perfect. You could keep this up all February or this is something that you could literally just keep up all year round. Okay, one thing left and I'm pretty sure you already know what it is. It's the last thing. I have to be super delicate with this so that it doesn't break. I'm gonna open it up quickly and then give you a little close up and then take a little Instagram photo because that is my life, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. So fun story about this, Adam and I gave up sugar for an entire week and our week is not over. So I can enjoy the look of this right now, but I can't actually eat this <laughs> until next week because we decided to give up adding sugar for a week to do like a little bit of a detox. But let me tell you, when we we're back on that sugar game, the whole point of that was to kind of like detox so I didn't feel like I needed to have it every day. At this point right now, I feel like I need to have sugar every single day and it's so unhealthy. So we did like a little mini detox to kind of like get all of the sugar out of our system and get to the point where you don't feel like eating ice cream and cookies and cupcakes every single night. And we're almost at our week mark. What? 
chocolate chip cookie covered in chocolate from Walt Disney World. I'm assuming this is from the Main Street Bakery. I need to figure out how to like package this up again. But yo, favorite item of the box right here. I want to eat you so bad. I feel like I say this in every single one of my gifts from Mickey unboxings, but that was hands down the best box that I ever received from that subscription service. They just keep getting better and better every single month. So I'm going to, again, link all the information in the description below in a coupon code. They do have boxes to match your price range. Some of them are pricier and more of a splurge, but those are boxes that you might give for like a special occasion, in my personal opinion. Some of the boxes on their site, they are quite expensive, so they're not boxes that you might want to do every single month, but definitely boxes that you want to like honor somebody for for their birthday or Valentine's Day or Christmas or whatever holiday it may be or whatever special occasion it might be. But that box was so good i can't get over it especially that haunted mansion set i'm gonna go online like immediately and see if i can get the entire lot of them and try to create the entire ride like imagine having the entire ride in like a little figurine set <laughs> i'm so excited so next we're gonna move on to a lily post lily post is one of my favorite boxes to get every single month because it is a book subscription service for your little so i get this from landon we do the board book on their website they have a bunch of different ones they have a specifically board book one where you get four board books then they have a picture book one where you get three picture books and then they have a board book slash picture book one and i don't know the quantity of that one but for now landon is just on the board books so let's open on up and see what is in store the whole entire theme for february is woodland and they do have contests every single month where you can decorate your box, send it in, and the winner will get all sorts of prizes. So, oh, we're getting like a little stuffed animal this time. We never get stuffed animals. This is so cute. We're getting like a little fox stuffed animal. That's adorable. So I would love to give this to Landon while we're reading our books. So I have four books in here, one, two, three, four, and here they are. I am getting five big trucks, which is a pop out and play book. This is what it looks like. Vroom vroom, it's time to pop out and play with the five big trucks in this book. Draw around the vehicle shapes and use them as flashcards or play with them to bring story time to life. I'm gonna take this little plastic piece off and see what this book actually is. The value of this one is $7.99. Why can I not do this? Struggle City today. So, oh, you can like pop off these actual pieces. Beep beep goes a school bus, drive away. So there's school bus, there's fire truck, there's just engines, there's dump trucks. And then you can actually like pop these out. So I'm not gonna pop it out now because I wanna do that with a land in. You can pop these out and put them back in, use them for the book, or use them as little flashcards. That's so cute. That is number one. Number two is Sweet Dreams Moon Beams. These are, I love it. The retail value of this one is $7.99, and there's a little fox on it. So I'm assuming this little guy goes with this book. So I would love for Landon to hold on to him as we are reading this book. And they have the cute little moon. Oh. And the quality of these books are perfection. Oh, I love the way that the moon feels. That feels really, really nice. And the colors are so, so pretty. All right, two more. First, animal facts all about the ocean. So we're getting animal facts all about the ocean. If you guys just watched my most recent video where I give a tour of the playroom, we're doing themes every single month for his bookshelves. And I've received so many animal specific books through lily post and i think one month i want to do just specifically an animal facts theme so i'll put all types of animals all types of fish in there and then those will be the books that we read for that month so this is going to go perfect maybe we'll do that next month because i have so many the retail value of this one is 7.99 and it just talks about all these different fish in the ocean so cute and the final one is a touch and feel book, my favorite kind of books. This is a Super Squeak Comics, The Mystery of the Missing Cheese. Look at how adorable this is. And it's all like holographic and iridescent. And it's a touch and feel book, which I love. Oh, so cute. Okay, 
perfect box again and I really love how on top of the four books this week this month I should say we're getting a little stuffed animal guy we're gonna move on to a mama box now this is a boxy charm it is a makeup subscription service this is for the month of February and this is what it looks like when you open it up I love how they have the red detail this month again because February everybody pretty much associates with the Valentine's Day so this is what my box looks like I have my five products let's see what these five products are the first one is the EVO skin Aurora refreshing cleansing hemp wipes love me some cleansing wipes i love to throw these in my bag to have not only like to take my makeup off but if i ever feel like i'm like sweating or just like have been outside all day i use these and just wipe my face off to get any of the excess dirt grime or just like you know grossness off and that's the perfect little travel size next up we are getting something from first aid beauty i used to be obsessed with first aid beauty I used to buy their whole line and then I just started trying like a bunch of different items but I really 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 like this brand a lot we're getting the facial radiance pads help exfoliate tone and brighten so that's exciting not too jazzed that I'm getting two like cleansing wipe type things in the same box I wish I was getting a little bit more variety this month but these are items that I will use so I guess I can't complain too much because I'd rather have items that I'm going to actually use and will benefit me than having like a variety of items that maybe I wouldn't use. That's all I'm going to say about that. Speaking of items that I will use, we are getting three makeup brushes. I tend to use all the makeup brushes that I get from BoxyCharm the most and these are like beautiful. I can't really read what it says. It looks like it says... Almar, whatever that means, I guess that's the brand, but we're getting three of these super aesthetically pleasing makeup brushes and all different sizes. How exciting, like a foundation brush, brush, a blush brush, and then not sure what I'll use the other one for, but these are beautiful. Love the shine to them. Second to last thing we are getting is from Ciate London Everyday Vacay. This is a coconut setting powder. All right, this is what I'm talking about. I love a good setting powder. This is what the box looks like before I open it up. Very pretty packaging game. Let's open it up and see what it actually looks like inside. I have nails on for like the first time since having Landon and I forget how hard it is to work with nails. I used to wear nails all the time and it was just like second nature and now that I haven't worn them in like nine months it's like it's really weird. So this is just a nice little coconut setting powder. This I'm very very excited about. And the final item inside of my BoxyCharm box is from Becca. Ooh, This is the ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation. So I do remember putting in like my foundation color or like shade I should say. So I'm glad that I'm getting a foundation because the one that I'm using right now is almost all up and this looks really light, <laughs> like really, really light, oh gosh. So this is like, all right, we'll make this work because I have other foundations that are a little bit darker and I'll just mix them together. But this is a huge size. Is this like all natural? I've been trying to use like all natural stuff on my face. This is in the color sand. I'll have to look this up. I'm still going to use it because I don't want to be wasteful, but I've been trying to use like natural-esque type products on my face. Not quite sure if Becca is like that, but we'll find out. So that was everything inside of the BoxyCharm box. All in all, great box. Where is my little... You usually get like a little pamphlet or like a little thing telling about the theme and then it tells you about all the products. I didn't get that this month. It's not in my box and it usually tells you all the products and the price. So either they forgot to put that in my box or I just didn't get it this month. But yeah, I got those five items, but it would be nice to know like the retail value of all these and like specifically how to use them. I know how to use all of them, but usually in the description it will tell you. But yeah, that's it's not in here. They might have forgot. I can always email them and I'm sure they can just like send me the information about it, but I didn't get it this month, but I like the box a lot. And last but definitely not least, I have my box from Grove.co. This box is so heavy. So Grove.co is more of a 
home subscription service where you pick what you want to get every single month. You can always change your delivery, but they're all products that are going to benefit your home. They're all like sustainable products, all non-toxic, better for the environment products. I fell in love with them after having my son and realized that I wanted to make sure that we're using a lot more items that have no toxins in them, no badness in them. So basically you sign up for their VIP program. It is $20 a year and then you just get your shipments whenever you want. So if you want to get one shipment a year, you get one shipment a year. If you want to get 10 shipments a month, you can get 10 shipments a month. If you are brand new and you want to try them out, I do have a coupon code in the description below where you can get Get either a four or five piece set and it's usually valued at like 35 to 40 dollars i'll put a picture of it right here and you can get that for free just for signing up it's just like a thank you for signing up for the subscription that is how i kind of got like reeled on into the subscription service i really wanted to try the myers products and that was included in the free gift set and then everything on their website is so aesthetically pleasing and just so beautiful and I just I like fell in love with them so this is what I picked out for the month of February I actually skipped last month's delivery because I didn't need anything in I think it was January subscription I skipped and now I'm getting it towards the end of February and depending on how much of this I use I'll decide if I want to get one in March or April or even May it is completely at your leisure so I got a bunch of like homey stuff the first thing that I got is the Myers Clean Day, and this is a laundry detergent. So this is a laundry detergent for Adam and I, huge, huge size. And again, it's all toxin-free. It just It's with lots of goodness. You're just putting goodness into your house and goodness into your body. And then I also got the seventh generation free and clear. I believe this one is for Adam and I. I got two detergents. One of them was specifically for Landon, who's going to be 10 months old this week. And then one of them is for us. I think the Myers one is for kids. I'll look that up on their website, but I got two laundry detergents, one for Adam and I and one for Landon. I also got the Myers Clean Day Multi-Service Everyday Cleaner, and this is the scent Orange Grove. I did like the whole set, so I think I got like three things for this. I have used this so much, and this is probably one of my favorite scents from Myers. It smells so good. So I got the spray, I got the hand soap, which we have in our kitchen and then i got the little candle this i'm telling you guys this smell it's unreal this is their limited edition seasonal scent orange globe and it is the soy candle so i got that i also got these which i have fallen in love with they are the ultra absorbent european dishcloths they are reusable paper towel i mentioned these in the last video that i did about grove i just love these so much Basically, instead of using so much paper towel, if you have just like water on your countertops or you just like spill water somewhere, you can use this. It soaks it up and then eventually you can just throw these into the dishwasher to wash them and lay them out to dry. And you can just reuse them and reuse them and reuse them instead of using so much paper towel. And they're just so cute. It kind of looks like they have like little rainbows on them. A couple more things. I also got some reusable, recyclable plastic trash bags, 100% recyclable. I got these last time as well and fell in love with these. We don't necessarily need these right now, but I know that we're going to be using a lot more trash bags coming up soon because we have Landon's birthday party coming up and we're going to have a lot of family over. So I just got those like on deck to be safe and to have them for when we need them. Oh yes, this was also part of the little gift set for the orange grove or orange clove. I meant Miss Meyer set. It is the dish detergent. <laughs> Two or three more things. I got the hand sanitizer gel in the scent Blood Orange. Fell in love with this as well, and I plan on bringing this into my classroom. I noticed when I got this last time and I used it, my fingers and my hands were not dry, and I use so much hand sanitizer at work because I am a teacher and I don't want like all those germs. If you're a teacher, you totally get it. And every time I would use just like regular hand sanitizer, my hands would get so dry there's like actual moisturizer in here so when i use this one in my house i notice that not only am i cleansing my hands but i'm also moisturizing them and they never get like that super super dry feeling two more things left the microfiber all-purpose cloth very very nice this is again along the same lines as that reusable paper towel it's just a reusable cloth and instead of just like 
catching all of the dust on a dust pan and brush type thing. I just use this to dust everything and then I just wash it and dry it. And the final thing that I purchased is the Lavender and Oatmeal Bar Soap. Their soap has easily turned into some of my favorite soap I've ever used. It smells so good. It's completely cruelty free. It's nice and gentle on my skin and it lasts a very, very, very long time. So this is what the soap actually looks like if my camera is focusing on it. And it smells so good. I love and hate the scent of lavender. Like it's very calming, but too much of it is just like too much. And this is like the perfect little blend. And that is it for this monthly unboxing review roundup. I hope you guys enjoy. I again apologize if I was talking like rapid, rapid speed throughout this entire video. It is only because my son is napping right now and I have just such limited time to film and I'm trying to be super productive so when he is napping, I film. It's kind of like getting more done when I possibly can. But yes, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I would love to know what you guys thought in the comments below. Thank you guys all so, so much for all of your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye guys.